So let me show you where Gemini kind of exists and lives now because it's pretty much sitting everywhere in the Google Workspace ecosystem now. So I open up my Gmail and on the right side here, I've immediately got Gemini. It's giving me some suggestions of what it calls gems, which are the kind of like specialized bots that you can use inside of Gemini. But for the most part, I don't really use those in the context of Gmail. In Gmail, I'm more likely to say, read my emails from the last week and let me know if there's anything important that I missed that I should be checking out. And it's going to do a really deep search of my email and give me really, really good answers and pretty fast here as well, you can see. If you're wondering what I use for transcription, it's an app called Whisper Flow, which actually uses an AI voice model from OpenAI. You've got the email prompting available there right inside your Gmail, which is pretty cool. Show me my unread emails. That's interesting. I didn't know you could run searches. Oh, wow. There you go. So it's actually running a search now and showing up the search. That's pretty cool. I'd maybe say something also like, show me all my emails that include GM, who's our IT manager. Let's see if see if that kind of search works. There we go. Cool. All right. So I'm getting emails from, you can also use it for a slightly faster search. One of the cool things about Gemini is they're now getting better at showing sources. You'll see this in Notebook LM. Notebook LM lets you upload a bunch of sources and it basically like creates a, a dedicated training area for Gemini. And Google's now showing when it, when it gets intelligence or when it gets information, it's showing you where it's getting it from. So if I wanted to say something like, show me all my emails in the last two weeks that contain server alerts. It should show me the emails, but then it should show me, yeah, there we go, each one of the sources for that, which is odd that not all of them made the list, but that's Google. Sometimes this search is not yet perfect or the prompts are not yet perfect. The other thing is when you open an email, it's going to automatically summarize. It doesn't always pop up, but I can click the button here, summarize this email, and it's automatically going to show up there. Now, this is really useful if you've got a long email thread, 10 people on the email, bunch of different responses, boom, it's going to pop up. And it's pretty much going to be the same for Calendar, Drive, uh, and your documents as well. So in Calendar, bear with me, this is a test account, so it doesn't always have data in it. It's my Gemini in Calendar. Has it not made it to my Calendar yet? Maybe it's not in Calendar yet. Okay, it's definitely in Drive. Same thing here. Help me find a document I worked on more than six months ago. Uh, let's see what it shows. It's a test account. I don't know how much is in here, but we'll see. Okay, cool. Let's, let's try this maybe in my production account and see if we can do like a real tricky one. Show me presentations that I made in 2015 for the Business Blueprint conference. See if we can find some old, old stuff. Show me presentations that I did more than five years ago. Okay, that's pretty good. Show me all the presentations I've done on Inbox Zero that are more than five years old. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, some of these, there we go. There's my 2016 presentation. They are there. Sometimes the, the answers aren't perfect that you get out of Gemini when we're querying, but you can see that it has eventually pulled it up. I just kind of needed to ask it a couple of different ways. The good thing about this is this has got so much better just in the last couple of months. Previously, this was really, I would say, average. Like three months ago, I was hardly using it at all. And now I find myself using Gemini for questioning rather than even bothering to search. It's about four or five clicks to do the same thing if I wanted to search for those documents. I'd go to search. I'd go to, okay, advanced search, date modified, custom is between this date and that date more than five years ago. The type is a presentation, it includes the words inbox. As you can see, it's, you know, before date. I can't even change the number. There we go. Cool. So I want to change years. Okay, I got to click through to the different years that I want to find it. Okay, cool. So that's a whole bunch of clicks to do that but it's one quick query inside of Gemini. So that's basically what they're trying to do is be really, really useful inside of pretty much all of your, pretty much all of your Google apps. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.